Let's continue to read Matthew chapter 3, John the Baptist prepares the way. In those days John the Baptist came preaching in the desert of Judea and saying, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is near. This is he who was spoken of through the prophet Isaiah, a voice of one calling in the desert, prepare the way for the Lord, make straight paths for him. John's clothes were made of camel's hair, and he had a leather belt around his waist. His food was locusts and wild honey. People went out to him from Jerusalem and all Judea and the whole region of the Jordan. Confessing their sins, they were baptized by him in the Jordan River. But when he saw many of the Pharisees and Sadducees coming to where he was baptizing, he said to them, You brood of vipers, who warn you to flee from the coming wrath? Produce fruit in keeping with repentance. And do not think you can say to yourselves, We have Abraham as our father. I tell you that out of these stones, God can raise up children of Abraham, or children for Abraham. The axe is already at the root of the trees, and every tree that does not produce good fruit will be cut down and thrown into the fire. I baptize you with water for repentance, but after me will come one who is more powerful than I, whose sandals I am not fit to carry. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and with fire. His winnowing fork is in his hand, and he will clear his threshing floor, gathering his wheat into the barn and burning up the shaft with unquenchable fire. Ooh, there's a lot here. <laughs> this is sermon upon sermon. Um, okay, so uh, listen to this. This is he who is spoken of through the prophet Isaiah, a voice of one calling in the desert, prepare the way for the Lord, make straight paths for him. So John the Baptist was born around the same time as Jesus, a little bit before uh, Jesus, which we'll learn more about in the coming books. And his whole life was to be a prophet of the Lord and to prepare the people, to prepare the way for Jesus, to show the people who their actual savior is who the everything leading to this point it's a it's not how we say in like movies and theater where it's bringing up to a climax because this is a continuance this is a this is what the plan was from the beginning from the beginning and so even john mentions how this person that's coming after him. But after me will come one who is more powerful than I, whose sandals I am not fit to carry. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and with fire. And bringing past to present, that is what we have today. The gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen and hallelujah. That feeling of love, that feeling of warmth, that feeling of the body, the kingdom of Christ, all being of one in the worship of our Lord and Savior. Before we go on, what kind of thoughts or feelings come to your mind when we read over this? How does it make you feel and what does it make you think?